Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be, as you can tell from the title, um, the Q&A from the questions that you guys asked me on my giveaway video, plus the giveaway winner. So um, a lot of you have asked really interesting questions and I just wanna say I'm really, really grateful for all of your support and your interesting questions. I really do appreciate it and thank you and shout out to all my new subscribers. I hope you stick with me through the end. I wish you all good luck. If you wanna skip ahead to the giveaway, I'll put the timestamps down below, but I'm just gonna get straight into the Q&A session. So there's actually like, I think something like around 200 questions. So I'm not going to answer all of them because then my video is going to be really long. I'm going to choose the ones that I have a burning desire to answer. So yeah. And also if you want to see a mini makeup tutorial on how I achieve this look, then head over to my Instagram. I'll put a link in the description box. Um, you guys can see a mini tutorial there. Let's get into the Q&A. All right. So the first question, how long does it take you to do your makeup? So when I film this, I decided to just let it film in one standing. Usually I like to film, stop, like do one thing, film a little bit, stop, do another thing, film a little bit, stop. I don't actually record the whole thing, but I just recorded the whole thing before I had to stop to eat supper, but I came back and like did another recording and it actually took so long. It took over an hour. And that's usually, like, that's if I'm putting, like, absolutely everything on my face. You know, the steps go, like, your foundation, your primer, eyeshadow, the blending, all of that. Like, all the steps, the lashes, everything takes me a good hour, an hour and a half to do. It's long. But if I'm just doing, like, a simple, subtle, natural look, it'll take me about 30 minutes, I would say. What is your favorite lipstick and lipstick brand? Um, I would definitely have to say so far I'm really loving the Stunna Lip Paints from Fenty Beauty. I just love the way that it applies on liquidy and then it dries up instantly after. So you can apply a gloss after if you want or you could just leave it matte. I, and it lasts literally throughout the entire day. I absolutely love it. If you could take a vacation anywhere in the world right now, let's pretend the pandemic isn't tormenting us for a second, where would you go? I've been asked this question a few times in the past year since the pandemic has started and I haven't been traveling and my answer is just going to keep being Spain because I'm technically supposed to be in Spain um, on an exchange program and I lost the opportunity to go because of COVID. So that's definitely where I would be right now if COVID wasn't a thing. <laughs> What's your favorite setting spray for having a dewy finish look? So I was never big on setting spray in the past. Um, I've only been working with a few and it's usually been matte. And so far I just bought my recent dewy finisher and it's uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's this one and I've been using it and I absolutely love it. It's the one that I use on my face right now and I love it, I'm obsessed. So <laughs> it's definitely this one for now. I could actually put the link in uh, the description box if anyone's interested. So I like these little questions, this or that. These are my favorite types. So summer or winter? Definitely summer, 100%. I like this question. If you could go back in time and change anything at all, would you? I definitely would go back and change a couple of things. I wish I knew how to manage my money properly and like save it instead of spending it. Like I was always so quick to spend my money. I was never able to save. Uh, a favorite subject when you were in school. So when I was in high school, my favorite subject was actually math, believe it or not. Math and drama. So next question, what tools and techniques do you use for these amazing curls? Thank you. I really don't think that they're that amazing, but thank you for that comment. Um, I actually posted a video on what I do to get my curly hair. Usually I don't put that extra cream. I can put the link in the description box down below so you can check it out for yourself. But usually it's like that whole process minus the, the diffuser. And minus the uh, that cream thing that I put, I don't usually put that. I literally just wash my hair 
and let it, I brush it out, brush out the knots, and then I put in leave-in conditioner, or just like regular conditioner and leave it in my hair. Like I put it all throughout my hair, I just flip it over, scrunch it up, and I let it air dry. Like I don't like blow drying my hair or anything. Especially in the summertime, those are the best times when I like to leave my hair curly, because it actually stays curly and the sun just makes it more voluminous. So yeah, that's what I do. I don't usually go through too many steps, I just keep it simple and it Sometimes I'll have good days and sometimes I'll have bad days. It's never an in, in between. <laughs> okay, next question. How and when did you get into makeup? So I was into makeup since I was in high school. I always played around with eyeshadow. I wish I had like old pictures of me when I was in high school. I would wear like the most colorful eyeshadow ever. And obviously I wasn't good at doing makeup back then. So I looked like a hot mess. Like if I were to recreate my makeup right now, I'd be like, oh my God what am I doing? I never like applied foundation or anything like that properly. It was just like literally just colorful eyeshadow and I thought I was like the hottest shit ever. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was into makeup since then and um, obviously YouTube had came out around that time and I was watching a lot of like beauty influence, not a lot because there wasn't that many back then, but I was watching a few. I also wanted to get into creative makeup, but I never did. So I ended up getting into an aesthetics course instead. So I learned like the basics of makeup in that course. Um, I learned how to do like um, wedding, glam, like all of that stuff. But I didn't like the, the, the main thing I really, really wanted to learn was the creative makeup, like Halloween and like uh, SFX, all that kind of stuff. So I literally just went on YouTube and I self-taught myself how to do stuff like that. But previously before that, I, I knew how to do like the basics and stuff, but I never, like they never taught us how to apply lashes. I had to do that myself. There's a lot of things that I didn't learn in that class that I learned off of YouTube. And yeah, that's, um, it's been ever since then. And I'm obsessed. I've been obsessed ever since. What is your favorite foundation? So my favorite foundation is definitely the Fenty Beauty, um, the Longwear Matte Foundation, um, only because I have combination oily skin. So I like to just even out my face completely. I've tried a more hydrating um, foundation and I don't know, I find it makes me look a little too oily, so I prefer definitely the matte foundation and Rihanna's one, the Fenty Beauty one, is definitely my go-to for that. Uh, what did you study? So in college, I studied creative arts and languages and theater, and in university now, I'm in English literature. Next question, what's your favorite eye look, smoky or colorful or very natural? Honestly, I am a very open to everything I like experimenting with different kinds of things as you can see um but my go-to every day i i like to i like to go for that very natural look that's my absolute favorite but i do absolutely love playing around with colors like if i get invited to a party i like playing around with pink and purple and like all that kind of stuff and smoke smoky eyes i would say is my least favorite for sure Ooh, next question. I like this question. It's making me think. So what cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Um, I definitely want to try Huda Beauty. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of good things about it and I was so close to buying a palette and I don't know what happened. It's really expensive too. Like um, I think if I want to save money I would have to buy the one with just six shades in it. Um, but I want to get the one that has like 20 shades, which is like 80 bucks. So I need to definitely invest in that one day. What's your favorite makeup item that you can't live without? So definitely mascara has been my top favorite. I love having my lashes looking nice and full and thick and long. Yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite makeup brand? Um, I would have to say definitely Fenty Beauty. Well, the eyeshadows, not so much. I haven't really came across a good eyeshadow palette yet, except for her mini ones that she just came out with. But everything else I absolutely love. Like I love her foundations. I love the matchsticks. I love, and the lipsticks. I'm, I love the lipsticks. How many siblings do you have? I have three brothers and two sisters. So I have five siblings. Oh, I like this question. Favorite Rihanna album? 
So my favorite Rihanna album is definitely Unapologetic. Yo, all of her songs in that album went hard. I love it. But the first album that made me fall in love with her was Loud. So I'll forever love that album just as much. But Unapologetic is definitely my favorite. Your go-to island vacation hairstyle, braids or wig? Um, I'm not one to put on wigs at all. I've put on... Um, I put weave in before, but I definitely don't like that because I like to be in the ocean. I like to swim. I like to get my hair wet. So the more natural I can have it, the better. So I would definitely go with braids over wig because then your hair can't get puffy and stuff because it's tied into the braid. So it's better. Okay, I like this question. What made you inspired to create a YouTube channel? So I've actually wanted to start a YouTube channel for as long as I could remember, like since high school. YouTube came out, what, in 2007? I was in high school um, until 2009. So for sure, in 2009, I had the idea of wanting to start a YouTube channel, but I didn't want to do it alone. I wanted it to I wanted to do it with my friend back at back in the time, somebody who was my friend, my really close friend. And we kept talking about it and we came up with all these good ideas, but it just never happened. I also had another friend that I was supposed to start a YouTube channel with and it just never happened. So all this time I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for somebody to start a YouTube channel with. And I'm like, you know what? Enough with the waiting, I just have to start it myself. And so here we are. What is your favorite eyeshadow palette? So uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you know this and most of you know this, but the James Charles Times Morphe palette for sure. I use it for everything, like absolutely everything. They have every shade that I could possibly imagine that's in there. Like, I love that palette. Okay, next question. What type of product do you buy the most of in terms of makeup? Definitely lipsticks. I like to experiment with a lot of lipsticks. This question, somebody asked, what is my age? And I am, drum roll please. Do, 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 do. 29. Favorite color eyeshadow? I would definitely have to say warm tones. I love my browns and my gold. Those are my definitely go-to uh, eyeshadows that I like to use. What is your favorite wine? Red. Red wine. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with Rihanna? Because um, I just love everything that she stands for. I love everything about her. She's so, like, her album, she's so unapologetically herself. She doesn't have to apologize to nobody. She's just, like, I don't know. She's just everything I want to be in a person. The fact that she's just, like, this small town girl from the islands. Look at where she is now, uh, almost a billionaire, and she's just making it. She's making a killing, and she's making a lot of changes in the world. Favorite perfume? Um, I would definitely have to say anything from Rihanna. Like I said, I'm obsessed. But so far, I really like her nude one, which she came out with years ago, and I still use it till this day. That's my favorite one from her. Favorite animal? A dog. Definitely a dog. <laughs> For those of you that know me, know that like if I could be a dog in the afterlife, I would. Like definitely a dog. <laughs> Where did you get the, my PJs? So my PJs um, that I was wearing in the giveaway video, I ordered it from Fashion Nova. So I will also put a link to that in the description box as well. What is your favorite show? So my favorite show right now, actually I don't have a favorite show, but I've been re-watching How I Met Your Mother. And honestly, that show, I'm obsessed. I can watch it over and over and over and over again. Like, it's better than Friends. I don't care. Come for me. Come for me. But that show is better than Friends or any other sitcom I've ever watched. It's just the best. I love it. What is your favorite drugstore makeup? I would definitely have to go with Elf Cosmetics. Okay, what helps me relax? Um, definitely um, ASMR videos, surprisingly, believe it or not. Um, I'm actually somebody that gets very bothered by whispers sounds and like tapping or anything, but that's more like when I'm trying to be awake and alert and focusing on something. But when I'm just like letting myself go and I want to relax and sleep, those noises are soothing to my ear for some reason. I don't know, it's so weird. But it can actually help me fall asleep and relax. What camera do you film with? So surprisingly, I do film with my phone for now. Just because my channel is so small, I'm not going to invest in a big camera. But I do actually plan on getting a camera just now because 
I keep running out of space in my phone and it's so annoying, so, so, so annoying. So I'm definitely going to get a camera soon. I'm not sure what brand. So if any of you can recommend a good camera to me, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. Do you have a tattoo? Yes, I have four and they're small. I have four small ones. Where would you like to travel after this pandemic is over? If I can go on a vacation, I would definitely want to go on a resort just because resorts are very relaxing. You have the pool right in front of your hotel. You have all you can drink, all you can eat. That's, that's definitely a vacation that I'm looking forward to for sure. Where? Maybe um, the other side of Dominican Republic. I've been to Puerto Plata, so I would like to go to Punta Cana next. Coffee or tea? Um, I would have to say coffee just because I drink like three or four coffees a day which is so bad I know I do like tea too but coffee more best kind of weather um I I really like fall weather I love like to be cozy and comfortable I don't like to be too hot and I don't like to be too cold so that's perfect in between weather favorite vacation ever taking I would have to say Trinidad for sure 100 percent have you been to England no I have not been to England but I really really would love to go is YouTube going to be your career? Um, I sure hope so. That's why I'm making so many videos. And honestly, I really want it to work out. I'm really hoping and praying that it pays through in the future. And this is definitely something I could see myself doing for a lifetime. Like I look forward to making videos. It's so much fun. And I would love to do this over working for somebody any day. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So in 10 years, I'm going to be approaching 40, which is so scary to think about, but I started to invest in stuff and I'm going to continue to invest in stuff and I'm hoping that it pays through within 10 years and that I have good financial standing and I have a house or a condo, whatever. I, I own a house and I don't know if I want all the kid and family thing just yet, but I definitely see myself with like, at least two dogs and you know just in a really good place a, a nice comfortable well-being healthy place you know I'm not struggling financially I can I'm independent living on my own I can pick up and go on vacation whenever I want you know that that kind of that's that's where I see myself do you have a puppy I have a dog he's not a puppy he's 12 years old but he acts like a damn puppy. So yes, I have a puppy. So this is a good question. I guess like you, most of you should know what my name means. So JBK, what is the meaning of JBK? So it's actually the initials to my full name. So my first name is Jenna. And um, I unfortunately have to take both of my parents' last names because my mother chose to put that on my birth certificate. So it's, a pain in the butt to say it out loud every single time or write it on a piece of paper every single time just because it makes it really long and annoying to say and write. So I just shorten it and say Jenna BK, but my mom's last name is Bihari Singh and my dad's last name is Keating. So it's Jenna Bihari Singh Keating, but just call me JBK. It's so much simpler. Favorite store to shop in? I would have to say... Winners in the dollar store. <laughs> My favorite color is pink. What's your favorite mascara? Three, two, one, say it with me. Fenty Beauty. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra balance. I'm a Libra sun, Scorpio moon, and Scorpio rising. If you guys are into that astrological stuff. What are your goals for your YouTube channel? Um, I made a video in the beginning of January discussing my goals for that. So I'll put a link to, in the description box down below and you can go check that out. What's your middle name? So my middle name is Marie. How tall are you? I'm five foot four and like three quarters. So let's just say five foot five. What do you plan to achieve in 2021? So I would, I definitely plan to achieve like getting more in shape. I've gained so much weight. Like I think I put on like, oh, I put on over 20 pounds since this whole pandemic started and I feel so sluggish, but I've been working out and I'm gaining even more weight from working out because I haven't stopped eating carbs and I'm not going to stop eating carbs and it's just, oh, it's a struggle. But yeah, I want to get into shape. I want to be more healthier. I want to be... Um, more fa financially stable and I want to 
try and make something out of this YouTube channel as well. So those are definitely my goals. And I'm graduating two in two months, so I'm hoping that I can find a good job after. What's your biggest fear? Um, I don't know if I have like a really big fears, but I, I do have like phobias and like I get anxiety with certain little things like spiders, for instance, I hate being around a spider. I'll freak out. I'll like have to call somebody to come kill the spider for me. I won't be able to do it. And um, driving near trucks and buses, I get so much anxiety. I literally like push the gas pedal so fast to speed past the because I just I hate being next to a truck or a bus I just feel like it's gonna crush me I don't know it's just so scary <laughs> hmm I like this question considering the theme is Valentine's Day a lot of you have asked Valentine's Day questions and I haven't been answering it just because they're all like similar and I'm single and I mean I haven't really been on many Valentine's Day dates or dates in general just don't really have any kind of answers for you but this one's pretty interesting so if you were to plan a valentine's day date no expense spared what would it be uh, i'm gonna have to think about that a little bit i mean i'm very simple considering valentine's day is in the freezing cold month of february and i live in canada and we get like minus weather here so there's no definitely no outdoor activities for me but you know what, actually, I would say I would plan a nice weekend getaway at a chalet um, with a fireplace. You know, we can watch movies at night and go skiing during the day or tubing. I don't know, do something fun in the outside in the snow or, you know, and then maybe like near the chalet, we can go to a nice dinner have a nice bottle of wine. Simple things. I'm simple. If you had to choose one makeup brand, what would it be? Fenty Beauty for sure. Are you a morning or night person? I am definitely 100% a night person. I do everything at night. Like I'm able to do my homework at night, but I've been starting to get into the habit of waking up early and getting things done earlier. It just, I feel so much better. I feel more energetic. And yeah, so I'm trying to be a morning person, but for now, I am a night person. Do you believe in karma? Yes, I do believe in karma. All right, that's that. Um, that's it with the questions. So I'm going to head over and choose our first prize winner. So let's see who the first prize winner is. So I'm doing the first prize, which is Montreal only. Um, I know I've discussed like I could ship it but I realized I don't feel comfortable shipping it just because it's glass and a bottle of champagne and just in case something goes wrong and it breaks I would have shipped it for nothing and you won't get it in time for Valentine's Day so I really want this person to get it for Valentine's Day that's the whole reason why I decided to do it the way I did so yeah I'm going to start screen recording Okay, so I started screen recording. So this is for the first prize, Montreal only. So good luck to whoever wins. And um, so it's all in order. So I'm going to shuffle it. And three is my lucky and favorite number. So I'm going to shuffle it three times. One. Whoops, it didn't shuffle. Hold on. One, two, three. And then I'm going to click the wheel and good luck. Lena's makeup. Congratulations. Woo. Congrats. So I'm so happy for you. Congrats. I hope you get drunk on Valentine's Day, girl. You deserve it. <laughs> so now we're going to do prize number two. So this one, there is a lot more entries. We are going to shuffle it again three times. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to press the middle button. Good luck. <laughs> Sophia Rowe, congratulations. And girl, you went ham with the question, so you deserve it. 
I'm really happy with the winners and um, thank you again to the both of you and everybody else that participated. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy your gifts and I definitely will be doing another giveaway sometime in the future. I had so much fun doing this and like I said, I hope you guys enjoy your little gifts and please um, send me a message with your address so that I can send you the gifts. So that wraps it up for our giveaway and um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for those that participated and supported me and shout out to my new subscribers again and all the questions. I really had so much fun answering them. I absolutely love answering questions and I really want to do another Q&A so definitely in the future I will be asking some more, um, ask you to ask me some more questions. And yeah, um, that wraps it up. So thank you again for everything and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.